Hi there everybody, Diamond Bee Farm coming at you with another video. Have you really thought about how long it takes for grass to actually grow? Today's video is going to be just a little garden update um, and just going to go through the rows just to see what all's been popping up. Be sure to stay to the end to find out the best and easiest way to tie up tomatoes. So that some oxygen can get down in there so that they can grow. They've had a lot of water here lately, so they're probably starving for a little bit of oxygen. <laughs> the tools I'm going to use for staking my tomatoes are some T post, a T post driver, some tobacco sticks, and some tomato twine. start with the T-post and since I have 20 T-posts I'm going to put five in each row and I'm just going to put one on each end, one in the middle and then divide that distance and I'll just go down to here and lay them out first and then come back and drive them in. Best way to get a post driver on a six foot post is to lean it over. And then you gotta stand in the middle of the road. Just that easy. Now I'll do the rest of them.
we'll put the sticks in now. They're a lot easier. Two before we're on the end of it. Okay, here, here's where, what I was talking about where we had three tomato plants instead of just two. We got an odd number before we get to the end of the row, so I'm having to put three between these two sticks. It works, but I wouldn't make it a habit of doing all of them that way for sure. I get this plastic twine at my Tennessee Farmers Co-op and it's just a small plastic twine. It works real good and I go ahead and put up all my string for all year. That way it's kind of like that stuff you see on TV that you set it and forget it. It's almost that easy. And I put it up. I have to walk all the way to the far end and loop it around and bring it back so I can put up both strands at one time for each row. And this is how I do that. I just set the box down and walk all the way to the other end. I loop it around the post on the other end and then walk all the way back and I give myself plenty of extra. That should be plenty right there. And then when I start tying it, I generally tie the first one down pretty low. And then, if I start getting to where I need to run a hole through it or something like that, I can always cut the bottom one off and just use the rest of them to hold it. But what I do, I tie it to the end pole, and then when I come down to the first pole, I go around it clockwise try to make it as level as I can when I go to the I keep it pulled tight when I go to the next pole I go around it counterclockwise and I'll put a little pressure on that tobacco stick and uh, then I'll go back to clockwise and the bottom ones are harder to do because you got to go around the pole or the tobacco stick at the top 
and then counterclockwise. All the way down. Just keep a little pressure on it. And I mean, it's, it's still off the ground high enough I can hoe under it. But if it gets where it rains a lot and I get behind, then I can always, I've got that in just a little bit too high. I can always take the string up. I need to. my ground was cultivated, it would do it a lot easier. See, I've already got some that's laying down. And what I'll do is when I pick them up, I'll just spread that string and pull them up in there. It's tied up right there. Just that quick. When I get to the end, I just tie it off. Just in a regular old square knot. I usually put an extra one in there just to make sure it don't come undone. And then all this extra I have loose, I'll tie it to the end of my next strand and start over. All right, when I start my second strand, I go up about six or eight inches and I tie it off on the end post just like I do on the first one. When I come to the next post, if I went around it clockwise, on the second strand, I'll go counterclockwise. And I just eyeball the, the distance to see if uh, 
I mean, I'm not going to measure it, so I, I mean, they might not be perfectly parallel, but they'll be pretty close. Okay. Okay, in just a few minutes, I've got 60, a little over 60 tomatoes stuck, and they're tied up. They're just not in the strings yet. As they grow, all I'll do is separate the two strings, pull the tomato plant up in it, and let it go. When I come to the next one, if it's right beside this one, I'll just twist the strings a time or two so it's not a big hole on the back of it. Pull it up in there, and it's tied up. And I've got three more strings to tie it up the rest of the summer. Just set it and forget it. <laughs> Don't forget to like or dislike and leave a comment and tell me why you did like it or disliked it. And don't forget to subscribe and please nail that bell on the side for notifications. Thank you. Bye. Bye.